Overnight, an early morning fire has destroyed a long time gathering place in Villa Hills. Started about three this morning. We got to the scene uh, shortly thereafter. WCPO 9 News anchor Kristen Swilly joins us live from the site of the Villa Hills Civic Club with an update. Good morning, Kristen. Yeah, good morning, Julie. I can tell you firefighters have cleared out just within the past few minutes here and you can sort of just kind of barely make out. I know it's jet black behind me, but that is a gutted building and it's so unfortunate because this was a community gathering place for five decades. We spoke with one of the directors who tells us they were just having parties here a couple of days ago and now this happens, but they're already vowing to rebuild by the wait to find out what exactly happened in this fire in the first place. So I can tell you the building was donated by a family and it's been around since 1961 when this area was mostly farmland. And since then, it has hosted countless events for the community. And like many institutions, it struggled financially at the height of the pandemic and they were just turning things around when this fire happened. A couple months ago, I was down in eastern Kentucky helping with chainsaws and helping other people. That don't even have a place to go home and sleep. So it's all about putting it in perspective. You know, it, it, it's hard, it hurts, but the bottom line is, is again, we're going to be okay. That was Mike Martin there again talking about how he was just helping those tornado victims not too long ago and now they are the ones here in need. The good news here though this morning is that no one was inside so no one was hurt and this fire we did speak to the fire chief. They are still working to learn a cause but say the wind out here this morning was not helping their efforts.